This is the third generation. Why did I hold it upside down? What's up you guys? I know you found the title that you guys already know what this video is about. So let's cut to the chase. I have in my hand the Galaxy Z Fold 3. This is the third generation of the Galaxy Z Fold and this one is by far my favorite one. I never really believe in the first generation because there's always something needs to be improved from the first generation. The third one is pretty much, they're getting there. It's getting pretty good and this one, is definitely no exception. Right in the box, they don't show you the closed version of the phone, they show you the open version. Just so you can see how amazing it looks. Look at this. This is like a mini tablet, because the way you hold it, it's like perfect in the hand. It's not too big where it's just like an, you know, a big tablet. You wanna hold it where you can hold it with one hand and kind of watch it. You have a bigger one, it'd be kind of weird. Either way, it looks really nice. It comes out like that. So the first thing you see is the tablet version of the phone. Front of it is a glass, and honestly, it attracts fingerprints a lot. It's gonna happen, okay? The back has a nice matte look to it. It doesn't attract fingerprints as much as the front. It is a glass, so I can't imagine why not. The coolest part is that it looks beautiful. The glass itself here looks great. The resolution feels great. The phone is not as thick as I thought it would be. I actually thought the fact that it folds two phones together, it's gonna feel super thick, but the way Samsung made it feels great in the hand. It feels good, like I can put this in my pocket and still feel fine. The back, we got three cameras. The signature Samsung three cameras, and one of them is for regular, we have one of them with a wide, ultra wide, and then telephoto. And here on this side, you have the volume button. You have volume up, volume down, and the power button. You also got a face ID and fingerprint scanner. Cool part is the camera actually has this loading screen to kind of show you that it's looking for your face. I love it. It feels like a regular phone, which is so crazy. And when I open it, and that's where the magic happens. It looks like a small tablet. Isn't it? Like, isn't it cool? All right, you see this crease right here? After like using it for a bit and you kind of watch vi videos from YouTube or surf the web or even just exploring the app, you kind of stop looking at it. Like your brain just kind of stop noticing it and it's totally fine. It feels weird though because I know it's like kind of like glass, but the fact that it bends and it feels different right in the middle, it just definitely has a different feel to it. I wouldn't try to mess with it too much. The phone feels really tough. Opening and closing it, it feels like it's not gonna crack on you. It doesn't feel cheap. I love the fact that it has a Samsung design here. So when you open it, it kind of covers that. It peeks out just a little bit right there. It feels extremely, extremely premium. That's the best part because if this was a cheap looking phone it, or cheap feeling phone, that ruined the whole experience for me. But we all know that Samsung doesn't make cheap feeling phone. All their phone just feels super premium. The fact that it feels super nice holding it as like a tablet style, I'm always finding a reason to not use it like this, like a regular phone. I mean, I can, so when I'm making calls, it'll be like this, but I'm kind of constantly finding a reason to open it. And I thought using it as a tablet is kind of weird, but you know what? I am getting used to it and it feels nice. It really does. It doesn't have that weird feeling it's too big or anything. You kind of still use it with one hand hand so it's perfect. The battery in here, if you guys didn't know, it has 4400 milliamp hour battery. Sounds like a lot, but on a phone that can open up a screen like this, it's definitely using a lot more batteries than you think. So it's not the best battery life. If you're not constantly just using this like a laptop, you can probably last all day. If not, just make sure you have a charger, which is a USB type C anyway. So it's everywhere. <laughs> With this, you get three colors. You got the phantom black, the phantom silver, and the phantom green. This version right here is the phantom black, and I think the phantom black is the best looking one. Black phone just has this nice look to it, and if you don't want to, then you can slap on one of the skins, but this just feels great having it like this. And then you can also add a case if you get worried about your phone being exposed like this. The camera. Kind of important, right? A lot of people use their phone to take pictures, like for Instagram or for Twitter or TikTok. Any of the social media stuff you want to use your phone for, because it's right there, it's in your pocket. This right here on the front, the selfie camera, has four megapixels. It's pretty small, but it's okay because when you're using this, you're only taking selfies. That's really much all you need. You don't need a really high definition camera. The video part of it, it shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, and it also does 1080 at 30 frames per second. So the camera in front is not the greatest, but it works and it works perfectly for a front camera. Now the back camera, this is a 12 megapixel camera. You got a 12 megapixel in ultra wide, 12 megapixel in the 
telephoto and 12 megapixel in the wide. I think I got that all correctly. It has 4K in 60 frames per second. It has 240 frames per second in 1080. And if you really want to go to 720, it does 960 frames per second. That is like extremely slow. The only thing I really record of that is like someone pouring water or someone shooting a BB gun or whatever just flying across you like really, really fast. But I don't know about that 720 though. I might just stick with 240 at 1080. Now to get the prices out of the way, it's $1,800 for a 128 gigabyte and has 12 gigabyte of RAM. And then you got $1,900 for a 512 gigabyte of storage and 12 gigabyte of RAM. Which one do you guys choose? Either way, I don't think you'll be disappointed. This phone is honestly a lot better than I thought it would be. The first time I saw it, the first time I even thought about the Galaxy Fold, I was just like, why? I mean, it's kind of futuristic because I see it in movies, but I'm always like, why would anybody need that? Like, I, would, I have a tablet, but I have a phone too. Like, I don't really want to have my phone opened up like that. But then now that I'm holding one in my hand, I can see why. It's actually really fun to use this way. And when I'm watching a video or surfing the web or even reading an email, it's a lot nicer to read those things on a tablet than on a phone. It's, it just looks great. I mean, with all the apps on here and the way it looks, I just think it looks good. The coolest part is that I watch a lot of YouTube on my phone and when you're watching YouTube and if you fold the phone in half, just like, like this, okay? Not close it all the way. So I guess not really in half, but just like this, okay? When you fold your phone like this, the monitor is on the top and then the browser is on the bottom. So you can still browse while have the video still playing. So you can browse here, look at a comment, leave a comment while the video is still playing. So it feels like a laptop, just like this. Isn't that insane? Like the fact that you can do that, that's crazy. I love that feature. And if you don't wanna do that, then you can pretty much just watch a video on the whole entire phone. They also brought out the pen. The pen now is like the Galaxy Note pens. You can now click on stuff and write stuff and use it, just like how a Galaxy Note pen is. The only thing is that there is no spot to put it in. So you're gonna need a case to hold it, but the fact that there's a pen, I know some of you guys out there really love the pen. You can draw, you can take notes, It's it works perfectly. So it does come with a pen. Overall verdict, you guys, I think this phone is a lot better than you guys think. And it's definitely a lot better than what I thought. Overall, would I recommend this phone? Yeah. If you guys have the money for it, and if you guys love Samsung product, definitely get one.